Um, what I love about these environmental ed field trips is, for one, every kid gets to come outdoors with someone who knows exactly what they're talking about. And I don't think a lot of kids would come out to this pond if we didn't come on these trips. And they love it. They love getting in the water. They love finding insects. They love finding fish. So we're very, very thankful to Dave and Court. Gosh, we are going to find uh, aquatic invertebrates, so probably dragonfly nymphs, damselfly nymphs, and they're going to sample uh, different types of creatures, and then they'll sort of get back to their classroom and organize them by how sensitive they are. You know, some are super sensitive to chemicals in the water, so if we do find like a caddisfly, that would mean this pond is really, really clean. You know, we just find crayfish, then maybe the pond is not as clean, and that's the only animal that can live in it is crayfish. So we have. I like coming out here because I like oh, I catching it. like interesting insects and looking at the pond. Well, every kid gets to go on a field trip with us, uh, and so that's you know, 10,000 kids that we're serving right now. And so that's a great thing for everybody to get a chance to get out and do this because a lot of kids in the city don't do it much anymore. They don't get into a natural area with a guide, someone who can tell them about it. It's super fun. I've been to the other pond, but I've never been here. And I really like science. The kids never want to leave the pond once we get here. They would dip the pond all day if we could. 